it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we are back on MAFM version 2. Uh, we're pretty much done with the wheat harvest here. We just got this small square here left, and then a little bit down over here. So, uh, the combine is full, so we need to unload him. We're going to have to drive over the crop just a little bit here. But... Okay, um, I had to refuel the combine a while ago, uh, it was down to I think about 15 liters of fuel or something, so got that all filled up, um, the truck is okay on fuel, uh, the grain cart here we will have to, we'll fill this up uh, once we finish combining this field. So, we're going to get this field finished off here and get uh, moved over to the soybeans. Get ready to get started on those. I have Auto Combine running the combine right now. I've actually had that thing running on Auto Combine for quite a while. Um, I did have to close the game quick because I didn't have the Hired Workers Consume Fuel and Seeds mod, so the combine wasn't using any fuel. Uh, when it was on auto combine, so quick download of that, pop back into the game, and continued harvesting. Uh, we have racked up a whole lot of wheat right now. Uh, we're at 706,000 right now. Uh, right now, as you can see, the PDA is working okay. So. Um, you can see all of our crops. Soybeans, we're going to make a lot of money off of. Uh, they're worth $2,000 a ton right now. Um, it would be nice to have some oats because in 2 days and 16 hours, there will be a great demand for those. But unfortunately, we do not have any oats. So, won't be able to capitalize on that. And we won't be, we won't have planted anything by then have it grown and combined because um, we still got a lot of work left to do just with the stuff that we got so so that guy is gonna head out and unload that and he will come back uh, we're actually gonna set him just tell him to stop at the trigger when he gets to the farm and then we will just drive the grain cart to the farm and uh, unload into the truck see so yeah, I've been running the grain cart for a while now um, ah, wrong button uh, just kinda got sick of combining and uh, dealing with course play on the grain cart so I just uh, decided to run it myself stop seriously oh. alright whatever holy crap the trucks are there already Okay, so we will stop the driver and we will just take over here. We can reset that course and delete it. Because that was just a temporary course. Um, <clears throat> when we record a course for the combine and grain cart uh, over on the bean field, uh, then those will be legit courses. Those ones will be kept. So we will just handle the rest of this combine in here, since there is not much left. An auto combine is just going to kind of act stupid on its turning. So, uh, and then I had, you know, I cut this thing so that it was squared, 
and then there was a little triangle over there so I had auto combining set auto combine running on that and then it decided to jump over to the strip where the combine just was a moment ago and decided to curve and totally just ruin what I had just finished it was like really you had to do that it was kind of annoying so I had to sit and you know square everything off again and then I had to square off that side and then I was just trying to set it up so auto combine could run a little easier and and we are full Gotta let the auger get all the way out and then we'll just bring this guy up so we can fold in our auger on this because we will not need to unload for quite a while we won't need to unload until we are back at the farm hopefully we can fit everything in the grain cart otherwise we'll have some grain in the combine yet Oof, I don't know if there's going to be room left in the grain cart or not. We'll have to see. If not, we can just unload the combine into the grain cart when we're in the yard. So we got, I think, two more passes left. Two or so, maybe we'll have like a little snip. Yeah, we'll have just a little bit of a header. Just a tiny bit, probably. That or we will be able to clean it all up. Should be able to clean it up. We'll see. So we can't have more than 4,000 liters in the combine. And we're definitely going to, so... <clears throat> That's unfortunate, but... What can you do? Definitely a very bountiful yield, or bountiful crop. 744,775 liters already, and we still got a bit to dump, so. Definitely cannot complain about the yield on this. So we will be making a lot of money. Hopefully we get a large amount of soybeans as well, because then uh, we could really rake in a lot of cash. Alright, that is it for that. Oops. And we will go ahead and get this big guy to the farm. Alrighty, that is it. That's a wrap for harvest. So we will get this guy back to the farm, get him over to the bean field actually, and get him ready. So um, as of now I still have not looked, uh, basically since I was finished recording the last video I've just kept combining and um, as I wanted to get this field done today that way I can go and do some other stuff afterwards here uh, currently today uh, today is Monday for me uh, I've got the ATS video up for today currently uploading the previous episode of this and then once that episode is done uploading, then I will be able to upload the, um, the next ATS video, and then this video, and then start uploading the Christmas specials. So I'm actually doing pretty well. I, uh, if you guys remember, I said I wanted to try and have all of the videos for this week recorded, edited, and uploaded. Uploaded it. Uploaded. Bleh. Words are tough. Um... And, uh, 
have all that done by Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is when um, we're doing Christmas. Uh, my stepdad, my mom, and my sisters and I, we are going to be doing it on Wednesday. Then we'll be going to my mom's parents on Friday. And then I go with my dad on Saturday. So lots of uh, running around, being all over the place, and all sorts of stuff. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so just wanted to get all of these recordings out of the way. Then I don't have to do them later. And uh, so far, so good. All I got left to record after this is two more Christmas special episodes. Uh, one for Saturday and one for Sunday. And then get those edited. Upload uh, Wednesday through Sunday. And I will be all set. Which, the uploading is nice because I don't have to be present for it to do anything. Um, I just got to check on it after a while to make sure that, you know, see if the video is, see if my internet has been gone wonky and stopped the upload or anything dumb like that. And, uh, and then pretty much just, you know, let it keep going, really. Um, same with exporting. Uh, the videos so far that have been the longest to record is the first ATS episode uh, on Monday. And then the Christmas specials because the, the first ATS video was like 50 minutes long. Because uh, it was a long long trip uh, with the load of soybeans that we hauled. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well... Let's pull off to the side here. I forgot that we have wheat in this combine yet. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, because it was uh, such a long drive. And then... Um, the Christmas specials, because they're an hour long. So those also take longer to edit and upload. Uh, but... Once, once I don't have to worry about recording and editing anything else, then it's... You know, pretty quick and easy to upload and whatnot. Anyhow, we're going to fill this guy up with some fuel since we are more or less empty. This thing is also a fuel guzzler. And we want to pull this guy ahead a little ways. You know what, while we're waiting for that, we'll just take this over and unload the combine quick because this will be a lot faster than because the grain cart's still filling with fuel so why not uh... whoa yikes why not put some better brakes in this thing <laughs> goodness this thing has some horrible brakes And then I think if we just pull the truck right there, we can top it off with this as we come into the yard. So we'll drive uh, back to the farm. We'll leave the pickup sit there for a while until we need it. Uh, which hopefully should not be for quite a while. Uh, the only thing, the thing that would need fuel the soonest is probably the semi. And that thing's even good for a while. Maybe the combine. Or this, I don't know, but regardless, we don't need fuel for a while, so we are all set. So he can just sit, chillax in the field for a while. Tell me, need the pickup at least. No cars coming, that's good. I'm hoping we should be able to get started on soybeans before this episode is over. Uh, we may only get to cut open a spot for the tr truck and grain cart to run, but... I kind of throw on the ground there, I guess. Okay, 
now let's do this and then we'll just cut open a spot for the truck here and the way I'm gonna have the truck run it's gonna run across the creek uh, there's a little crossing down there uh, right by where our 1206 is sitting there's a crossing so we're going to cut this open right here and we'll go all the way down I think and then start working back then so um, yeah we'll just kind of cut a little ways down here because I think we're gonna run the field this way anyways but yeah so we'll just cut a little ways past here and then then we'll come back to this and pick it up uh, once we get a spot open for the truck so I think right about there is good back over a couple of bean plants here I think no no big deal there really we got enough beans <laughs> so the beans are gonna yield as well as everything else so that is good to know so you can see our 1206 sitting pretty uh, waiting until he can get going on this field What kind of texture we got? Corn. Okay. Got a neat uh, texture though. Ah, we're getting off course here. Trying to keep this one straight because I'm hoping that. Ah, uh, no, that's going to be way more than one header full. Okay, so there we go. Let's get this. Ah, I forgot. The grain card does not unload unless you're in it. Forgot about that. Uh, what do we. Oh, we got 12 minutes left, anyways. Alright, so that video is almost done. Um, wheat storage after harvest. So then we will get this guy unloaded, get over and get it unloading the combine, and then while it does that, we can unload the truck and also figure out our yields from this season. <clears throat> so we'll first figure out, uh, we'll put down how much wheat was in um, after the harvest, and then figure out, you know, subtract. The amount that was there after harvest, uh, take that and subtract it by what was in storage already, and then that'll give us the total amount in liters, and then we'll take that and convert it over to bushels, figure out how many bushels of wheat we got. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so let's get this guy unloaded here. And figure out just how much wheat we are going to end up with. So, 700, 765, 851, 765, 861, that is the correct number, 851, I was close, 851, so, then, uh, we need calculator, where are you, where are you, C, calculator, so we got 765, 